Hi guys, today we're back for another video. We're going to play two table of 400 NL. And after uh, the video on how to beat 50 NL and how to beat 200 NL, and now we are doing uh, how to beat uh, 100 NL. So um, I will uh, teach you everything I can, uh, give you some tips and tricks to improve the win rates as uh, in the limit, uh, in your limit, in this limit, exactly. Okay, queen seven suited here. We open board is ace six three. I'm gonna bet here. Uh, there should be a mix here between small and and check with my range. Uh, I believe you play stakes lower than five hundred and L. Um, nobody will call enough on the flop. You need to make some loose call that the population miss. I also think checking uh here in the spot has a lot of merit. So I think mostly both lines are fine. And now when we get called, I think I'm gonna do some. Just going to give up my hands. Just not really good in. He wants to barrel ends have equity or just don't block the call for the region. Like ends like queen jack, king queen, king ten with a diamond to stay both ends. And now on the free, um, I don't have like the best end to bluff. I just need to think about as this guy is is calling me or not. I have a lot of air in my PC region and I expect uh, not enough hold equity in this spot. So I'm gonna check. I expect to see a lot of like King 10, King Jack, this type of hands. I think it's better to check. And when we check, actually, we, we can have a bluff. We have a bluffing potential here with, with Queen 7. Um, we're actually blocking the 7 free suited, Queen free suited, and uh, like not that much people are bluffing this line. So I'll just raise a bit smaller here, let him think I can have his Queen, his King, just expand my value region. And now uh, when he has in like 7, he said he's 9, he's fire check, it's going to be really difficult for him to find a call i think here you can find a strategy where you just uh i'm gonna check his king here you, you can just raise bigger because when you raise smaller usually i expect people to be a bit more curious so maybe raising 30 here is a bit better uh but in this exact spot i like to like expand the value region uh, i have in my PC region and now with his king um i'm gonna check we lose sometimes against like fives or in like case 10 and he doesn't have any nuts now he bets the river he's gonna ace queen i guess jack 10. yeah i i was thinking about bluffing because i think you, you can make full jack 10 if you jump and he has no call when he jump like eight six is betting on the turn super often or the x6 region or like pocket eight eight nine eight seven just bet on the flop <laughs> i thought about just randomly jamming this king I don't represent anything, but I don't have that many bluffs too, so I think people fall here in the middle of stakes. Sometimes it's okay to represent nothing, especially if you play against players that will just not call you because of tight, or just because um, in general people are not really curious when you jump the next spot. So um, you can abuse on this line, but obviously if you start doing it, you will do a lot of mistakes at the beginning, but that's just part of the of the job, I would say. Uh, a lot of video on coming. Um, just uh, finding people to edit them well. Wait, just for the camera to be better. Yeah. Just uh, finding people to make better videos, and after that, I will um, upload consistently. Uh, here you should mix between check and bet here uh, on this board again. You can see bet really high frequency. I can even have some big bets here. You have more big bets when it's uh, ace spade, queen spade compared to like ace, no spade, uh, six spade, queen spade, ace, no spade, but it's, that's uh, that's not really important. And on the four, uh, I'm going to trick spot over bet. That's not the best end to do that. But here we have a range that just wants to put um, a huge amount of money in the middle. You have pocket fours, if I have queens, if I have sixes, for example, uh, this is the type of setting I want to use. And I also want to use a smaller sizing with ends like a six that can bet, but not free spot. So I'll probably have two sizing here, mainly three quarter and over bet. Uh, I don't mind having a small bet also. That's is more going to be a thing on like ace 10 for juice compared to like ace queen. Uh, because now the 10x region has more incentives to bet compared to the queen x region on ace queen x. Uh, but that, that should be also an okay strategy sometimes. Also, you, you have some checks. So probably four sizing in theory here, something like this. Uh, 10 9 here we are opening yeah a lot of videos are coming um some project also so uh just uh be patient 10 9 here so usually 
you shouldn't call the sending and the pool and the free bet from big blinds because you just don't free bet enough. But sending is really small, so I, I guess we have a profitable call here. Just because we have better pot odds, and I also expect like stronger hands mainly raise bigger, but this will not be true all the time. So here, bet betting is a big mistake because you really don't want to be check raised with your hand, and if he has a hand that check falls on the flop, there is a high chance that he's just check falling on the turn. So we just have to check here. And now if you check again, I have no interest to bet big because now I think nines and tens, I uh, bluff nine tens, and he will bet them often on the flop. So now I think he has a king, so I just want to bet small here because I want to let him re-raise when he has, he has queens, kings, and aces, and when he has his king, I just want him to call, touch the king, uh, and just bet bigger. We can maybe size a bit bigger on the turn. I think my sizing was a big, there's a small mistake, so I did this mistake often, but I should have sized a, a bit a bit bigger on the turn. And on the river, I think he really mainly have his king, so um, I'm just going to bet two blind here to, to get call. I think if I bet bigger, he's just falling. So um, yeah, I'm just going to bet two. And sometimes, I mean, this is really rare, but you will see like complete random spas. Just somebody will raise. That's going to be rare, but it's something to take into account here. So that's why I did his sizing and he, he fall, unfortunately. So um, yeah, interesting sizing. And left table, you, you didn't see it, but um, I um, fall with Jack Nine di of Diamond. If uh, the guy is range betting, you can raise super often, like really super often, but without any information, I will just follow the A region, it's the Jack Nine of Diamond. It's connected to anything, and you, you block the bet fall. So that's why I didn't raise on A6 to small blind against big blind. Then 8 here, um, you can call, you can raise. Uh, I'm going to raise this time. Shouldn't change that much here to have the bag of pleasure or not, but yeah, it's still, still okay. Look at nines here, I'm going to raise. I guess this guy is a regular. This guy too. Uh, E6 I'm going to open. Yeah, the, um, the tags are from the older videos, so I don't remember exactly who is who. And by the way, uh, you saw that I was not streaming that much because now I'm playing another site. And I also have a project going on, so I'm still playing poker, <laughs> uh, just not on, on GD anymore. But for more reason, I think when you play lower stakes, GG is fine, but at my stakes, um, it only depends on the rec back you have, because the best win rates are probably one big blind per hundred, two big blind per hundred without rec back. And um, with rec back, is any, it, it got me an okay site uh, to play on, but uh, recently they just destroyed my rec back for like no reason, and I went from 60% to probably like uh, one time it was like 9% rec back. Now I calculate it, it's more like 20%. But with the rec in 1k that we have, it's just impossible to play with uh, this amount of uh, rec here. Jack 6 a bit bottom. Here I'm going to defend for the video. Uh, Queen Jack here I'm going to fold. So yeah, that, that's a bit unfortunate, but uh, okay, this is a super red sizing. Um, I believe they are more like in the bluffing side when they do this. Uh, on this flop, but let's see if I'm wrong or not. Uh, I shouldn't have that many flushes. Uh, I like to lead a lot on this type of, of spots. I don't think flushes lead, but like Jack 6 is just a monetary check, and there's no interest to bet here. And if you okay, and now I think I think he just has air honestly, so I'm just going to bet one blind. And if he starts to raise the senior region, like Queen's Kings, that just um. It's just a pot and check, and I'm just gonna jump into going to fall the queen and king. I'm just gonna bet one big blinds. I don't know if he just wants to call because he's happy with like ace queen. I don't know. He had a great day, like he's like, okay, one blind, why not? And uh King Queen with a spade? Ah, King Seven, okay. But then still we, we get called by King Seven, and that that was error. I was right. Uh so yeah, I'm not putting on GG anymore because now it just it's just not profitable. Um and just to tell you in in five KNL I lost two big blind per hundred in rec back uh, now with the rec back I have so it's rough uh, close to two big blind per hundred so every time I play one hundred ends I have one hundred euros less uh, in rec back so it's just not really worth it anymore unfortunately so I can still I, I will still play five K sometimes just for fun or for content but for the moment uh, I will not play a five K on GG. Um, I thought about playing on ICR, but 
uh, the Aztecs uh, scene uh, didn't uh, heard a lot of good things on it. So I play some. Uh, I play some private, some like um, like club GG and Winamax too. So, mm -hmm. and there are a lot of great games there. But yeah, you can have access to club G, but you don't have access to Winamax, unfortunately. It's just for French and Spanish people. But honestly, if you can have access to Winamax, it's um, it's an okay set. You don't have a good rig back, but table are fine. But obviously, uh, GG is really the site with the most um, volume uh, ever on every stakes. I'm going to check here. Next self fold. And sevens on the seven. Um, hmm. I'm going to fold. I don't think they bluff too much here. Um, yeah, I don't think the spot is that bluff. Like the bluff, like Queen Sang, Queen Jack. First, I block them and. I feel like I'm gonna need to bet on the turn, so I'm gonna fold. Jack five here. Um, I'm gonna bet. I can bet range here. It's fine. On the jack, you should play over bets, and you can have three quarter sizing, I guess sometimes. Um, yeah, it's like over bets so or like three quarter, and you don't have intermediate sizing here. Just not good. Um, if players are not raising enough, I don't mind betting one third, but this is not the strategy I will use personally, even in even if I play or teach lower stakes. Um, hmm. um, okay, so there's two moves here you can do. First is check, it's the most common action. Or the second one is if you think that uh, players are too tight, or you just bet like. 28 and they will fall way too much and then the EV of the bet will be higher than the check but here I don't think it's the case I'm gonna, I'm gonna check and he had four three suited and uh, yeah, fine, fine play by him but he needs to raise that sometimes on the flop uh, this type of fence and usually most players will not so you overall realize your equity by one for range because they will not check raise enough so it's even better to to see bet so um, I expect higher see bet uh, I expect higher EV compared to three in the see bet line uh, on, on King 8 deuce. Yep. 5 4, I'm going to free bet here. I call Boris 7 free deuce. Um, I think we're off another bet here. Um, I can grab a lot of range. I think I'm gonna bet here. Playing at 14 is fine. He called. I, I misread. I thought we had only got shot. We have opponents, so that's even better. So I'm fine with the bets. I don't mind playing a lot of delays in free bet pots uh, because usually, usually they will not call enough to like check check bet line. Uh, these lanes are not going to call that much. There are a lot of exploit you can do in free bet pots. And if you want a video about it, comment down below. Bet six is I'm going to open. Give yourself another fold. Uh, Ace five juice here. Um, I'm gonna bet. So this type of board, like high frequency bets, we learn against early position. I don't mind having some checks, but you can just range bet against the, the pool here, just not following too early. And again, like he needs to raise B with ends like five three four deuce. Here is not doing this that much, and and this slightly overfall in general. So um, that's fine. Yeah, that's it for DG. That's a bit unfortunate, so let's see, because I don't know. I wrecked so much for the site. I I deserve a better treatment, but uh, that's okay. Mm -hmm. I still think it's a decent site if you get the decent trade back. Uh, if you play over stakes, especially if you have like special deal type of steps. Um, at this moment, it's uh, it's okay. Um, it's for off. I'm going to open King Jack off. I will open two. Now we're just going to fall. So, those who ask, I'm uh, in Estonia currently. I'll be back to France uh, in February for the EPT. If you want to meet me at the EPT, just send me a message. I'll be 
happy to do like a followers meeting, like subscribing, I think, something like this. And uh, after that, I think I will go back to Estonia. I'll, I'll move somewhere, I will see. King Queen off here. Mm, it should be a call mainly, but I like to free bet this type of thing sometimes. Um, and you can free bet all the time actually, because nobody will, will see that. Just be careful if you play like Russian cash, because I mean, people see, like, <laughs> people can see you have like 70% free bet. King 10 here. Um, without uh, that main information, I'm gonna fall. I'm gonna be a bit tighter against the, the four bets here. King Queen A off will be into fold. Queen A off will be into fold too. King Queen off will be into fold. But I, I'm going to stream. Uh, I'm going to stream uh, on, on GG just a bit, but I'm going to um, going to cash out most of my rolls. Just let like uh, some buy-ins to play like 1k and 5k also sometimes. Check in here. I'm going to. Mm. I'm still going to free bet against tech size, but I guess we prefer him to be 100 deeps. But it's not like he's going to four bet so massively because he played 50 blind. So I think this free bet is still okay. Only problem we have is we realize we could a bit less for slot because then he can just have a lot of check in on the flop compared to if you play 100 deeps. If you check is more, you realize your equity less. And if you realize your equity less, your OV is lower. Look at free. Um going to open here. Should be a fall mainly. But I'm fine opening it especially for the video. Um I'm gonna bet you if look at free. This were not that great for you. Like if you play range check back, it's completely fine. Like even when like queens should not be a bet super often. Um now with pocket free, I'm gonna bet. The reason why I bet this type of hand is um I don't expect them to have enough call 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 here in this spot because most of the value region um will just check on the flop. Uh compared to theory where you should have some strong check call. So yeah, so we'll not have enough of this type of hands, and with the weaker region, they will not call enough. And now I'm just going to bet, but not that big. And uh, maybe I can just I'll jump here. Now we play too deep. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna bet big here. I don't have that many bluff in my pursue region when I play this way, and I expect fall with uh, not seven x, but everything that is not a seven, and even seven x can fall. Like he snap call, but like. You just have a bluff catcher, and his bluff catcher is not that great. You see, I'm not evaluating any sets this way. I'm not evaluating any seven. Uh, but it's probably one of the cards where you can give up, but it's fine. Uh, here, I know this guy is a wreck, but he doesn't seem so. I'm going to fall, because if it's a wreck, I'll, I'll have limp even the trash region, because I will not use it enough. Plus, I'll play terrible, so this type of fans, believe me, they make money when you limp, and the guy is passive. Of course, uh, if you're against a reg, just don't play like this. Yeah, I'm fine with the triple with pocket freeze. Um, and uh, yeah, nothing, nothing special. Yeah, that's true. Like the the player pool of like to fall straight that much is probably like the only card I can love a bit less. And I think I yeah I missed by the end because I don't think it's that bad, but. I think the uh, bet small river is actually better. I didn't, I didn't uh, think about it enough. Um, wait, where's the end? Yeah, here. I think the bet small is actually okay on the river. Like, you bet one first, it's called super often. And now, when he has like. Um, Ace eight, uh, when he has um, eight x of diamond, six x of diamond, ace four of diamond. I beat his fall. <laughs> um, yeah, he can fall. Anyway, that's fine. Uh, he's just here. I bet small he lead out for to K. It's a bit weird. I'm gonna call. And on the eight, um, I don't see if free playing this way, honestly. So it's for me either ten or like, or like I or air. Mm, I'm gonna raise here. I'm gonna raise forty nine. 
think race is a bit better. Yeah, that sounds like a bluff. I think we should call, we can call also, but one I'm not sure, and once they can have wait, is the wreck? I'm not, not sure too. Okay, so one I have in like ace deuce, for example, and my EV of uh, the call is, for example, let's say ten. It's a bullshit number, but let's say it's ten. Um, there are scenarios where the EV of raise is actually not that high. So if the EV of call is 10, the EV of raise can be zero, of course, um, because that means she's going to fall sometimes against the raise. But what we want is when the EV of call is not maximum uh, to just like fall this, this range uh, between uh, the NAR EV and the max EV, which is the maximum amount uh, in the pot. So when you race, you want to make fall this type of range. And I did it because I felt that we can reach max EV by raising because the range is uh, that just bet this sizing is, is only um is only uh um... wait did I bet <laughs> did I bet on the flop? Okay. Uh it's not that bad when he limps. Uh, but it should be a check. I don't know why you bet. I was thinking about the explanation. Uh, I'm gonna bet 20 here. I did not expect in a 6-6. Six, six. The only problem of doing this move is if he starts to know me, I expect more calls, but usually people fall all the time here. Yeah, oh, I just hope he, <laughs> I just hope he doesn't call. Uh, yeah, that's work better if you're anonymous, but that, that's okay. Uh, I don't think <laughs> I don't think reaching in the chat is super smart, but let's see. Yeah. He fall, let's go. Let's show the bluff. <laughs> okay. Yeah, usually he falls super often, so I'm I'm fine playing this way. So I thought that uh, the only ranges she will have are Tenix. I really, really don't see her free playing this way. Usually it's they just don't take this this exact line. So just you just check raise the flop, like check raise the turn. And if they wants to be to lead, excuse me, so we'll just lead bigger on the turn on, on the reverse. I'm fine. So yeah, I say like five three city is a bit risky uh with my nick, but otherwise it's the, the move are just fine. When they like check the turn and the region, um the stronger region uh, that they have might fall all the time against the overbet. Uh, overbet is a uh, really um, cool sizing here. And it will open. Queen Jack. But again, just I think it's better to check compared to lead on the against the only position player limbs. So I just didn't wasn't focused. Queen Jack. Mm. Against the pool again. I don't know if she's queen enough in spots. Yeah. That's that's tight here, but I'm gonna fall. I'll not I'll not play all the time in the fall here if I play Irish takes, but I think in 100 and L, especially Russian cash should fall because the pool is tighter. If you play like, uh, I don't know, Winamax or like whatever sites where players are more aggressive, you can consider re-raising this hand, you don't call. Is a play a loose squeeze re range, but here without knowing, I think it's okay. Seven is also a fall here at this position, especially when he size a bit bigger. Okay, Jack's here, all three bets. A do suited. Uh, we need to fold, yeah. If all bets, uh, again, never jam this end against the pool. And here, I'm just going to call with Jack's. Against some guys, we can't even consider, consider folding here. Like, if I have a private game, so like live games, and, and the reg is tight, like, we can't just fold Jack's directly because a lot of players just. Call all the time is king, just for it. Always kings and aces. Uh, now, unfortunately, we just have to fall in the pool. Like, there's no way this, this call is winning against the pool, unfortunately. And queens, now I guess we have an easy jump. What you can do here is a little trick that is cool is you can click, not with queens. I think queens, the EV of jump is better, uh, is higher. But when you have like ace king, you can you can click. Once you have ace king, just, if they start to be, uh, wait, let's close the camera. Um, when this starts to be um a bit 
scared. What they do with ace king, they call. <laughs> and when you have ace king, usually when you click and they have kings and aces, they will always jump because they know you will not fall against um, um, uh, re-raise against the six bets. But um, some players will just be scared and just call. So when you have ace king, you can just you can just click and jump and win extra money. Um, yeah, that's that's a funny move. When you don't have any information, jamming will be always fine. But uh, yeah, I found some click is is fine here. I'm doing it six uh, since a long time. I was doing it when I I was playing like two hundred and L, five hundred and L. And the first guy I saw doing it uh, was uh, Stefan Brekov. Was doing some click the blind against full blind. Found it funny. He didn't play him that much at 5k. Uh, I think he's not playing that much on GG now. He should play private games or whatever. I don't know. Don't know him. Uh, 6 5 off. Against Twix, it's a call, but uh, 2.2 is the call. Maybe too soft and then a call. It's really important to know ranges pre flop, especially if you begin. But it's not that important to know them really perfectly. Just, uh, yeah, it's not that important. Okay, nice. I'm gonna four bet here. You should mix between um call and, and four bet, but when the three bet's the bigger size, and you have less call and more four bet, especially with the district structure. So, four betting here is fine, and also I don't really expect them to call enough the four bet. Four stop, I can bluff a lot, so um, yeah. I think the, the format is completely fine here. Ace Jack off. I'm going to forget this one. And against the format, uh, I'm just going to fall. But I'm sure the Ace Queen off, but Ace Jack off is just too weak. I, I don't know, it's just too weak on the bluff. But that's okay. Don't leave all yourself pre flop, especially like if you see somebody, uh, if you see someone just raising your free raise, like pre betting you three times in a row, for example. Don't you all leave all yourself. Don't think that there is, there is like dynamic or something. In general, it's just um, just a dynamic with yourself. I would say there's not, not that many dynamics. Ace eight here will open and 10 9 off. Uh, we'll just fall against the mean open. Um, I don't like to bet on a turn. The reason is because when they check a dry board, usually it's pretty strong. And if it's weak, you have no incentives to bet the turn because if they are weak, that means they're going to check often on the turn. And you can just bluff it on the river. That's why I don't really like uh, the bet. I'm just going to fall against this line. Some players will have a delay strategy with air region, but without any information, I don't think we can assume that. If you're often gonna fold, it's not often gonna fold. A3 or fold, ace 10. I'm going to open. Everybody fold, okay. In terms of opens, open sizing, 2x is fine. I don't mind, but raising 2.2, 2.5. I don't think it changed that much. Just uh, I walked some simulation post up with the 2x sizing, and I saw the difference between 2x and 2.5. So I prefer the 2x region. Uh, the cool exploit I can give you uh, if you play these takes is when you are on the bottom and there is a fish in the big lines. You have more incentives to open your range freaks. You um, prevents getting called by small blind reg, for example, and also you just uh, increase the size of the pot post slot, and you're just going to win way more money against uh, regs. So I uh, I think it's just uh, the best strategy. Queen Jack here, we can four bet here. It's a bit loose, it's fine. Yeah, when you have a fish in the big line, just, just open bigger here. Um, yeah, and you know, in one general, people are not calling enough the four bets. 
and uh yeah but it's stuff like to say 100 nl people do this because it's really de it depends on on the size basically uh call the alpha here on the turn uh not really like calling that much here yeah i'm gonna call it not really attractive to call to be honest and on the 10 uh i'm just gonna check here i mean it's not like seven super often with clubs no it's for off clubs Slightly behind, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, I think the alpha alpha is like merge a lot, so King Free is not that great to call. But you have okay odds. I can bluff some cards. I would have bluffed the A, so I have like enough margin of error to do this move. Let's say. Now, I, I think when I call the turn, um, if I always, always play as a check, then it starts to be not that good as a call on the turn, but if I start to bluff some re some rivers, I think it's it's better. Um, Jack ten, I'm going to Izo and five four again against the pool. Advise you to fold this. Uh, he looks too free, but uh, big uh, huge amount. So I'm fine with the call. I will call more for the video. And if I play like outside and play the stakes for whatever reason, I'll I'll have fold five four. Uh, Jack 10 here, I'm going to bet small after Izo. Good call. And uh, now on the turn, he pots, so I'm going to fold. And now here, uh, no needs to. Okay, <laughs> you were value betting, my friend. That's uh, okay, interesting. I swear to see, uh, to see a pot lead with eight, not something uh, we saw every day, let's say. And Eddie Josie Jam. For the anecdote, Josie is the name of my my father, and I say my father, not not my mother. Fold just off, fold. Saying hi to him, even if I know he's not watching my video <laughs> because he just doesn't care, and because he 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 doesn't play poker. Bring ten off. Um, we go into fold. Six four suited here. I'm gonna call. Um, on this flop here, I'm gonna I'm gonna check six four. Uh, ace four. I'm gonna fall in this size. Yeah, you can be extremely aggressive against slims and like small siding open, but like when they open six six in, in splash pot, just be careful. Uh, six four here. Mm. I'm gonna bet big here. I was expecting enough call with like five, six, seven, and all the a six off basically. And I don't think they check enough strong ends on the turns. I think betting is okay, but again, the range that will fall the turn often the range that could just like check the river again. And on the river, I can represent more value value ends when I bet the river, like the river card, for example, it's a jack. I uh, can have a stand Quinten now in the big bet sizing, but it's it's okay also to bet on the turn. I I was laughing because they say my my father doesn't play poker, <laughs> as he said all the time. He says he has one uh, yeah he has one sentence he's saying all the time. He says um, no poker, but uh, yeah I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say I'm not proud of that. Uh, no, he he says like no poker, only street poker, and he he dates the girls every week. So that's fine. So he, yeah, he, uh, he asked me some advice to win uh, <laughs> to win all the time. I can lead here. I'm not convinced uh, by his lead. I'm gonna call his jack. Here is juice. I'm going to bet. He bet again. To be clear, yeah, he. He doesn't care about like uh, what what he's doing and stuff, but like if he needs some advice to to win more and his game of poker with the dates he's doing, he, then he asked me. Um, I don't think it's a better eight or seven that much. Now it seems like a weak king or end that I beat, but I can value bet. So I, I don't think bet is that often. I will check, and if I can guess, I think he has king juice of spade. No, queen nine. Okay. A6 off here. Um be a check mainly. I'm gonna bet in B. Yeah, I'm gonna check this time.
on the free i'm going to check again and on the king I don't like when people snap check like this. Um, yeah, I'm gonna bet here. It's it's sort of a bluff a bit, but I, it's so tough for them to call enough. I don't have that many bluff in the past region. So when they have like ace eight, ace nine off, um, or even like pocket deuces, pocket four, pocket five, three x seven x, I think they will just fall too much. So even if a six has some short on value, I think the value of the bet here is higher. That's why I took the bets. Ice Jack here. I'm gonna check the turn. I feel like to bet here. And on the free, um, I'm thinking about the side. Um, I think the main region is pocket pair now, and if I bet. Okay, so we have two rec players. I think you can just bet a bit bigger. Like if I bet 1.9 should be fine. Yeah, just to get pulled by sixes with a spade. No, a king jack, okay. Yeah, that's one of the ends we are missing value against, but I believe you'll have way more pocket pair compared to Broadway off. So I'm fine. I can't know if he's calling King Jack out, but I'm like sure they're calling like sixes, higher type of ends. It's fine. And when you bet as small at like this size, and you also risk you call from the like the higher cards region, like his 10, for example. Uh he's queen off here against a call from the small blinds, going to bet. So you have less uh should on value events like his queen. So you have the check is lower compared to if he calls in the big blinds. So I start to bet all the time on this lap. Why? Because I know that most of the players uh, will just raise pocket fours, pocket sevens, and then he's cap he's cap to a king queen. So I just bet the turn, jam the river, and just take him good luck. Um. Okay, I have a note on this guy. Wait. I don't know why he's in red because red usually is five k rex, but yeah. Anyway, pocket three here. Means the limp. Hmm. Not convinced. I'm gonna over limp, but I'm not convinced of your one. Nothing's still okay. I fold that. Then six, I'm going to call. Jack eight, five. Jack four. I fold here. Yeah. On the four, um, I'm going to bet here. I have a lot of bluff in my Percy region, but when you bluff this type of hands, on a lot of fever, like you can have enough fold equity. And I still think that they will never check when like six, seven. The only really strong hands they are is, is like pocket four. Even pocket jacks not checking that much. So even if you have like close to no equity, if you just have a gut shot like nothing, I expect the turn probe in this situation to be okay compared to like queen, queen four, where it's a bit suspicious to check. Okay, he re raise. I'm gonna call with Jax. Check here. A cool trick here if you play like micro stakes on low stakes, uh, lead, lead 5% pot in this spot because the weaker region, the non over car, non over pair region. Uh, will often not raise like if you feel it's super small. There are not that many players if you play micro stakes who just raise the bluff or his king. But you should know that they are forbidding enough. And usually when you play micro stakes, they're not forbidding that much. Uh, I'm gonna call Jax here. I don't like the raise. I don't like his one third. I think it's stronger, but still going to call Jax. Now I think it's like queens, kings, aces often. 
he might bluff sometimes like age jack of clubs i block some bluff and like again if it's like all the time over person like, to write in chat uh may you show for youtube thanks Colin Cohen. Just, <laughs> just hope he doesn't show like you don't know his skin. Uh, yeah, as I can play skin this way, honestly, but without information, uh, I think you should just hold jacks. I don't know. I, I have a feeling he has, uh, I have a feeling he has his skin. No, he doesn't show it. That's a good sign. Yeah, yeah, just, just follow the plane here. Like, you can have a feeling, but the feeling can be shit. So, it's okay to follow your intuition, but sometimes you just need to focus on the plan. Nine, six, two, then we fall. I wanted to do a 40 minutes video, but like every time I'm like not seeing at what time I'm recording, I start the recording, so now I have like no clue. I would say it's 30 minutes, uh, but we'll see. Uh, Kings here, I'm going to free bet. And King three often gonna fold. And unfortunately, no action. Five four often gonna fold. Take this off, I'm gonna fold too. Opening at seven. Yeah. King five off, I'm gonna fall. King seven off. Mm. Fall. King ten suited here, I'm going to open. Okay, h9 off, I'm going to call. Uh, I'm gonna call. Okay. Okay. Mm. Okay, it's, I think it's not that strong when they do this. When they have like East King, usually the size bigger. But like the range I have, I always call the raise. So I'm gonna raise here. When you raise small, you let him re raise his king. And again, I don't see no, any falls here. Even like, if he has ace five, he has the gut shot just over here and just call. And I can represent a weaker end with this size and, and just let uh, the over, over like ace's ace king region re raise. Even if I think he will have some low frequency with this size. Okay. Uh, and sometimes I let also the spaz, that's why I like the re-raise of things in this line. And now, um, I think with the spaz region, they are not bluffing me. So if, if I call here and he has ace five, I believe he will give up. So now I have to assume he has an like ace king or a draw that will not fall against the re-raise because the problem is if he has aces, I think there are too many cards that are really bad for me. Um, Actually, it's only the jack. Yeah, I'm gonna call. That ah, should be really close. I'm gonna call. Yeah, let 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 him spaz. When he has ace king, he's always going to jump. And I think in this SPR, like even if there is a flush on the turn, I could just bet like twenty blinds. He call in the river. Like this pair is like zero, even even not zero point two. I'm gonna call. I guess it's uh. Wait, do we have a call actually? No, I think I lost. <laughs> I think I lost honestly. Um, yeah, because if Ace King Ace is a uh, bit bigger now, the the, the region that just bet this sizing plays the re-raise and jump is just Ace Jack. Oh, I'm gonna have it small here. King Ten, it's not GTO, but it's fine. Yeah, I'm gonna call. I think I lost honestly. Yeah, <laughs> that's unfortunate. <laughs> that's unfortunate. That's funny because I was so OP about my hand and the way I played it and on the turn he jumped I was like, wait, actually I lost here. Yeah. We can think honestly we can as as I did, we can consider folding. Um Yeah. I mean it's a fold, but <laughs> that's okay. The thing is like not like Queen Ten. He will have he'll have run them in sometimes. But to be honest, when we when we are in this situation on the turn, I think it's really close. But as you see, like uh, I have ten percent equity, so when he jam, uh, I need um, something like twenty five. So I, I 
I lost like 15% of the pot, which is big, okay, but one like has a draw, like has less first I win. So I think we still have a call, but um, I just close it. That's really, really, really close. Uh, Farf is suited here. I'm going to block here. And now on the river, I will object. Mm. I'm going to pull. I, I didn't leave the turn, right? Oh, well, yeah, leave the turn. If I leave the turn, I stop the video because now he's check check. Okay, I'm, I'm fine with the line. Yeah, I can fall like in 10. I know I can fall this. I know 100%. But I think next time I want to do like a really big fall, I just say, okay, fall, and I call it because like we do the video and we all want to see the showdown. So I will do that next time. Turn this off, I'm gonna fall. Turn this off, I'm gonna fall. And I think that's it for this video. So uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, subscribe to the channel, comment it. If you have any questions, you can just send me a message. If you want, yeah, anything, good games, whatever, just send me a message on Telegram or, or Discord. And if you have a video subject recommendation, again, comments on Discord. And we're just going to play these splash pots. And I'm going to raise. So, for those who are still here, for the best, I'm going to explain the splash pot strat. Uh, you need to raise really big, and the reason here is even if you have nine, eight, nine off, and eight, nine off makes money in the calling line. The limping region is close to be all the time a limp fold, so uh, I'm I'm fine with this strat here. And even when this guy raised, like it's not that strong. Like the pocket date, pocket jacks will just jump often. So it doesn't seem that strong, but I'm gonna fold now. But yeah, like so they will fall way too much. So you just put. 17 to win like 12 to or 13 you you need to always take this move let's say show your end for youtube that's either like aces or like a good end but that don't want to jump and like i don't know it's jack is queen i think queen okay nah yeah this this is exactly the type of hands like not strong enough to jump but still wants to like scare the me something like this Okay, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video and uh, see you next time. Bye guys.